Hey girls, I just wanted to share with you a video kind of of how I get ready for just like a very simple look um, that I use basically when I'm at home or if I just run errands. And it's kind of a combined video also of things that I picked up recently that I really love and products that I can't live without. <clears throat> I've been really careful not to buy a lot of makeup lately because I have everything I would ever need. Um, but there's are a few things that I couldn't not say no to, especially when there was the Sephora um, VIB sale, which they always do every April. So, of course, I picked up two things from there, which is a miracle because usually I pick up like six. So, that was really good for me because I didn't need anything. But anyways, I'm going to do a start to finish, get ready with me look that is perfect for anybody who likes a very simple look and nothing crazy. And that includes also my hair. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And by the time I'm done with my makeup, this is probably heats up much faster, but I will have that ready. So this is what I look like 90% of the time, t-shirt, um, hair, and a really messy bun, and no makeup. Um, I find that when I'm at home, I don't find any reason to look cute. But on Wednesdays, Kyle, my husband, gets off work and he has a couple days off. So I always want to try to look as cute as I can by Wednesday night because we tend to have a date on the couch and we watch a show and we just hang out. And I want to look a little better than this catastrophe. So we're going to get right into it. Um, first things first is I'm going to use my NARS tinted um, matte skin tint, which is the thing I picked up at Sephora. This is an Alaska Light 2. This stuff is amazing because it's like BB cream, but it's a little bit thicker. And I picked it up because it's a new product. And I've been doing spray tans more, so I don't need as much coverage. But this is perfect for the summer for anybody who wants like a lighter formula. And it's, oh, I love this stuff. This stuff is proving to be like my favorite product that I'll probably use forever. So I just put some on the back of my hand. I use a little sponge. And then I just put it all over my face. Very simple. I pat it on, I don't um, wipe it on. And you can obviously, with a tint or any foundation liquid, obviously, you can use your fingers, you can use a foundation brush. I don't think there's any one way that works better than the other. I just think it depends on how much time you have and what your style is. I really like the sponge because it's quick. And it's just, I don't know, I just really like it. But there is some downfall with um, using a sponge, they can get really filled with bacteria and know how much you clean them. So it's one of those you can't keep the same one forever. You have to throw it away and get new ones. No matter how much you clean them, they are going to keep stuff in them. So very simple, very light, um, but the color is perfect. And um, I really like the, the NARS tinted um, foundation. So then I'm going to use some Urban Decay um, concealer. I feel like anybody who is over the age 25 needs to use concealer under their eyes, highlighting the facial features that need to be highlighted. I always find that odd when people don't use concealer at all. I'm like, how How do they get away with that? I'm going to let that kind of get tacky on my skin. I'm going to go right into the mascara contour kit, which I'm going to be using the darker brown colors to contour my face, the blush, and the pearl highlighter all at once. If you're not familiar with contouring, you can skip this step and just use bronzer or whatever you do to add warmth to your face. This is just a non-negotiable for me. I am a contour girl and that probably will never change. On the sides of my nose, under my lip, a tiny bit on the side of my face. I have a very round face. So I have to contour it a little bit. And I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend the dark contour first. And again, this is not like a deep contour where I'm going for an extreme contour look, which I try to never do an extreme contour look, even when I'm going out. Um, but this is a very low maintenance contour. So if you are kind of into contour, but not in much, then that's perfect. And then I use the flat edge of my little um, sponge and I put all the highlight concealer and I blend it. Concealing under the eye really, as long as it's brighter than your actual skin color, will really help make you look more youthful and more awake. And I need all that because I've got two kids who keep me up a lot and I'm exhausted. I'm going to use some of that pearl highlighter and just put it right on the top of my cheekbones. And just blend it. I'm not going to use a lot because I don't want to be all shimmery. 
I'm just at home and I'm running an errands either. So I don't need to look like a highlight queen. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of pink blush right there. I mean, it's so tiny you guys can barely see it. I'm just using just enough to give it just the teeniest, tiniest color. My um, cheeks are naturally pink. I've always kind of had pink cheeks. That was my nickname growing up was Pink Cheeks. And so I don't need a lot of blush in my life, but I'm finding more and more that like blush is really important that we all miss because we're so obsessed with bronzer, but blush can really add some some really dimension to your face. Next things next, we are gonna go with eyes, very simple. I got this is the second thing and the last thing I bought at Sephora. It's the Marc Jacobs um, Lolita um, eyeshadow. I don't need any eyeshadow, but I've always been intrigued by Marc Jacobs coming out with the makeup line, which is the first time he's done this. Like he started it last year. So I was I was really fascinated by how beautiful his stuff was. And then I over the last year I've heard that the eyeshadows are remarkable. And of course when I hear that I'm like, well everybody says the eyeshadows are remarkable, no matter what brand, but these really are great. Where a lot of eyeshadows are super easy to blend, they're very chalky, so like they feel I feel like you put just a dab of it on your brush and it's there's just so much product to, to use on it. This stuff, it, it's harder, which I know some people don't like that, but I do because I can build it better than like just, I don't know how to explain it. I just like the formula better because it is really good for someone who likes to build up like I do. But if you're one of those who have a hard time with eyeshadows, get the the more, you know, chalky kind, if that makes sense. Which, if you're not a makeup person, that might not make sense. I'm literally using just the light brown colors any light brown, any medium brown, whatever, just to give my eyes a quick definition. I'm literally just using them like windshield wipers sweeping across the middle of my eye to give it an arch. My eyes naturally don't have an arch because I have a hooded lid. A lot of Asians have hooded lids and um, and that's fine. I have it too. Um, so I always just try to give a little bit of warmth to my arch. <laughs> I create one and this again is not a look for like going out I'm literally sweeping it on kind of sloppy too because I just it's just it's just gonna add a little bit of warmth to your face and of course I use the first color which is like a matte cream color so I just use kind of like um, I used this cream and I used like these brownie colors highly recommend picking up a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette they are in the 50s so it's not cheap but it is good stuff. Next things up are brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in dark brown. Um, some people skip brows altogether when they're going for a natural look. I literally do the lightest possible um, application. I am not going for super defined brows. I'm just going for more filled in brows. My brows are naturally pretty not full, but I don't have a lot of holes or, or areas because I don't really pluck my eyebrows anymore. I use, like, I pluck down here for maintenance if there's any weird stragglers. But, um, you know, do whatever you feel will make your brows look best. Um, I Like I said, I use the, I mean, it's so light. I'm barely touching my skin. Then, uh, again, why I love Anastasia is because you can take the end with the built-in brush, spoolie, some people call them spoolies, and you just comb it. I always set things with my brow um, gel, which is also Anastasia in Brunette. Um, I do this just because I touch my face a lot. I think I use that when I get stressed. I tend to touch my face, which I know is a bad habit. So I find that like I don't want my eyebrows to go out of whack, so I just find setting it. It's kind of like hairspray. It just sets it for me, if that makes any sense. Um, Next, we are going to take bronzer, Bobbi Brown, medium to bronzer. I love this stuff. I've had the same bronzer for two years, and it's still going well. I don't need to go get another one. I probably have another six months before I have to buy one, so it's well worth its money because it lasts forever. And I'm just putting warmth all over my cheeks because I haven't had a spray tan for a week, and I'm not going to get one until tomorrow. So I'm looking pretty pasty, folks, and I like to look a little bit warm in the springtime. I love my spray tans. I just haven't had time this week. Um, April and May are the busiest months for me. I'm finishing up a Bible study. I'm starting a new one this summer. 
I have all these activities and we do all these dental appointments this time of year with our kids and it's just crazy. So I feel like every day there's something busy. So I don't know why I'm saying that. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to take just an Archie brush and I'm going to add a little bit of um, pearl highlighter. I've been using this stuff for months and I love it. It's Becca. It's not pressed. It's powder. They have a pressed version, which I don't like. I like powder when it comes to this highlighter for some reason. I don't know why. I just do. Um concealer, which is my Laura Mercier in C33, C S C3. And I just kind of take both colors and mix them. Now, if you guys take anything away from me today, it's I think most people need concealer and uh, not concealer, um camouflage concealer, which is what covers blemishes and anything imperfections. If you struggle with some imperfections like around nose or anything, this stuff is amazing. They come in six different colors. I highly recommend it. Go to the Laura Mercier account. Um, counter at Von Mar and pick this one up. This will last forever because it's very thick, so it, it will last forever. I highly recommend picking that up. Um, next up, so lately I've been doing this spring, I would say the last two months, I have really realized that, well, first of all, I don't really have a lot of time to put liner on, and liner takes a, it's a process, so I've been skipping out on eyeliner completely, which might be weird to some. Um, but I'm finding out that like more and more in pictures and stuff and like when I'm out, I don't know, I look more awake by not having liner on. Does that make any sense? So I skipped it completely and I haven't been using any eyeliner, top or bottom. I use mascara um, and I just apply it pretty ge um, generously on my um, lashes. Um, after I've used a curling wand, which I've been using it, this curling wand since I was in 8th grade and it still works. <laughs> and I'm 28, almost 29, so do your math. But anyways, um, I find that, I, I don't know, I just find it, um, it's not as heavy looking when I have eyeliner on. And um, I don't know, I don't know, the older I get, the more I feel like I shouldn't have to try so hard to look good, even though I probably should because I'm getting older. But um, I don't know, I just feel like, it's more refreshing and it's more ladylike and lately with my style I've been way much more into being more womanly with dresses and looking more ladylike so having a bunch of black eyeliner I feel like can kind of do the opposite effect so very simple very natural which I know my husband loves that when I do natural okay so now we are talking lipstick I'm not even doing I'm doing lip stain it's um, the Anastasia's new lip colors this is in stripped okay I lied there was one more thing about us for this is the third and final um, liquid lipstick is awesome if you know how to use it right I always make sure my lips are completely um, not dry so I use the sugar scrub and I also use lip balm so that when I do apply it it doesn't look like awful, which if you have seen liquid lipstick on some people, it can look terrible because it just looks like it's drying up people's lips. And this stripped color is phenomenal because it is a true nude and it's light, light, light. So it's not, it's nothing really crazy. I'm kind of showing up orange on here, but it's not. This stuff is awesome. If you can get anything from Anastasia, it's a stripped liquid lipstick. I love it. Okay, that is all for face. See, like I said, I'm keeping it simple. Now hair. This is day two. Yeah. I plan on doing a middle part. First things first is I comb my hair through. And I'm also getting my hair colored this Friday. Thank the Lord. Because my roots are growing. And my hair's been growing super fast lately. I think it's because... I don't know. I have no why it's... I don't know why it's going so good well lately. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to take this little stick brush and I'm going to make a, a middle part. Usually my middle part shows but I, my hair has been up in a pony for like 48 hours. So like 48 hours if you didn't hear that. So it's one of those things where my hair has been up day and night and it needs some TLC. Oh my gosh look at those roots folks. Kind of like roots, but kind of don't. Depends on the day, folks. I am fickle. Okay. I'm going to take some duck clips, which you get on Amazon for $4 for 12 of them. Duck clips are your best friend. They're these silvery. And I'm going to take the top of my hair right above my ears. Take a good chunk of it. My hair is very thick, so this might 
only work for thick girls. Thick girls. <laughs> I'm thick too. Anyways, um, if you have thin hair, you probably don't have to use butt duck clips because you don't have as much hair. But if you have a lot of hair, in order to really get a good curling iron job, you want to take it off in sections. This is hot and ready. This is the other thing I wanted to um, review. I love this Baby Bliss um, Nanotechnology one and a one inch one and a half inch curling iron. I got this on Amazon, I think, for $30, which is great for this brand. And I'm just going to curl my hair. And it's really hot, so I don't have to really um, go nuts. Ugh. It's weird to do this and watch yourself curling your hair. It's a whole new challenge. Like I said, I'm not going for really intense waves, so I am not going to hold it forever. The key is, if you want your hair curlier, you have to hold it on the iron longer. And set your curling iron to a, a, a higher heat in order to get that. If you want more loose curls, you want to set it to a lower heat. Or do what I'm doing and just pull it out pretty quickly. The bottom part of my hair, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to have a little bit of wave. So now, like I said, this is a very, I lost my middle part again. <laughs> enough. I'm not really going for perfect right now. I'm just going for, I don't know, like a mommy zombie. So I'm just going to take this little front part using my gut clip. Uh, it's, again, so hard to do this when you're watching yourself on video because I don't have a mirror, but it will help me be better. Sometimes I take this curling iron and I comb it through or I run it through my hair before I even start um, winding it together because I don't know, sometimes I feel like when you warm it up even faster, it does better. And I go different ways, so this way I'm going to go forward instead of backwards just to give my hair more of a tasseled natural look instead of a uniform curls look. Do whatever works for you. Yeah, this is so weird to watch this. I feel like I'm doing things so backwards. Okay. I think at my next hair appointment, I'm going to go blonder. I've even thought about going. A little red. <laughs> I don't know why. I just want to try something new for summer, but we'll see. I do really love my stylist, and she does such a good job with my hair. I never change her for the world. She is awesome. Okay. I'm going to keep my front just like the way it is right now and do the other. The front to me is, and this is really important to listen to, is a really important part because the front really can. When people look at you, they're looking at the front of you usually, hopefully. So you want to make sure your front is really good. But you also want to make sure the back of your hair looks good too because you also don't want to be that weird chick that clearly doesn't take that much time on the back and then you look a bit strange, which I've done that before when I'm late. I've barely curled the back and I'm sure sitting behind me is a, is a fun little treat. Did I get all the pieces? It's fine. If not, it's going to be perfect. So then I'm going to take this down and focus on my front. I'm going to take a big piece, run it through to get it warm. Keep it in a little bit longer because, like I said, it's the front. And you want to keep the front all uniform. Like, you don't want to twist another way because in the front, you want your hair to go away from your face. Unless you're going for a whole different look, which I'm not really into that, so whatever. I'm going to take... This it's a little bit crimpy on top, so I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so weird doing this, <laughs> looking in the video. There it is. I don't know why, but the front of my hair always gets so tingly. I think it's because it has a lot of layers that are growing now, so it's just a little strange. Okay. I'm going to let that cool before I really comb it through. Not comb, but like with my fingers. Wait a few seconds. Turn off the curling iron. Never forget to do that, ladies. And then now, start curling. Combing it through. Tasseling it. Seems a little crazy that I do that. I want tassely hair. Okay. So this is a lot more presentable than before. So when my husband comes home, He's not going to think, why did I marry her? I'm just kidding. He doesn't think that. I hope not. But it's better looking. I look cuter, which always helps. 
and I feel better about myself. And so when I run errands now, I won't feel like a troll. So anyways, a very natural look. Hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye, ladies.